In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a jet plane do a barrel roll or victory roll maneuver. Open the model of the red jet. You can make the model yourself or download it from my website. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the right view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Apply the rhyme, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame 1, we're in frame 1. Make change, I'm going to change the location of the red jet by dragging on the tip of the green arrow to move it back. Insert keyframe, we're going to change the location and the rotation of the jet. Lock rot does both, and the location and the rotation go yellow to show that they've been keyframed. Before I apply the rhyme to insert the next keyframe, I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 100 frames. Now I'm going to apply the rhyme, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. To go to frame 100, I'm going to click the jump to last button. Now we're in frame 100, I'm going to make the change. If the tip of the green arrow is off the screen, just press G to grab, followed by Y for the Y direction to move the plane over. Make change, insert keyframe, I want to insert location and rotation keyframes, so choose lock rot. Click jump to first and click play, and we get a simple animation of a plane flying in a straight line. If you notice, Blender by default gives the plane acceleration at the beginning and deceleration at the end. If the plane was flying past, it would be at a more constant speed, but I'll deal with that later. Click pause and click jump to last. For the barrel roll or victory roll maneuver, the jet plane rotates 360 degrees about the direction that it's flying in, which is the y-axis direction, so we need to set the y rotation to 360 degrees. Now if I rewind and play, the jet will not rotate to 360 degrees because we have not updated the keyframe at frame 100. To update the keyframe, we must right click and replace the keyframes or replace the single keyframe will replace only the rotational keyframe or we can insert lock rot and that will replace the old keyframe. I'm going to right click and replace single keyframe. Now when we rewind and play, the jet plane rotates 360 degrees. To remove the acceleration and deceleration, I'm going to change this window from a 3D view window to a graph editor window. Clicking the white triangle, I'm going to hide the graph of rotation against time. And in the view menu, view all we're left with a graph of the jet plane's location against time measured in frames. The jet plane starts over 50 blender units from the origin. As the frames increase, it flies towards the origin, past the origin, and off in the negative y direction. These curves are where the plane accelerates and decelerates. To remove them, go to the key menu, interpolation mode, and set it to linear. Change the window back to a 3D view window. Press play and the jet plane moves at a constant speed. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file available for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.